but uh, for proof that Jesus was a Muslim, are you willing, are you ready to win $200? Actually, it's more than $200 because I'm adding $200 to the total. So it's actually $400 in your pocket today if you can prove that Jesus was a Muslim. All right, man. A challenge accepted. So uh, if, if I win, I want you to donate it to a good cause, like an animal shelter or something. All right. Deal. Yeah. Your choice. You tell, us the, you tell us the place to donate it to, and we'll both do it live. Animal shelter near you, bro. I'll be happy with that. All right. I'm going for it, man. So uh, prove Jesus is a Muslim. Uh, the word Muslim, in my opinion, means the one who, like, uh, um, the one who submits his will to God. So the one who uh, works according to God, right? Mm -hmm. you, do, okay. do you agree? Yeah, we do. We'll, we'll, yep, we'll go with that definition. So uh, I believe Jesus uh, said, uh, uh, I don't do anything of my own self. I only mm -hmm. do what, the, what my father has commanded me. That's what I believe. So in, okay. in, in, that, in that thought, you would can, I, can I ask him just one question before you proceed with him, Avery? The question that I would ask is the prophets of Baal, they truly believe that Baal is the one true God and they submitted their will to Baal. Can you say that those prophets of Baal, are they Muslim? No, bro, because Baal is not the, uh, it's not a, it's not the God of Abraham. Oh, okay. So the God of Abraham is the God that we're speaking about. Now, would you believe that this God is unipersonal, of course, right? Um, uh, so we, we, I think we're going into the Trinity. I want to stay at the, at the point that uh, Jesus submits his will to the Father. So at that point, he's Muslim. He's Aslama, or he's submitting to the will of the Father. Go ahead, Avery. I think that we're going to go around the same lines anyway. Yeah, I think that the next uh, obvious question would be, is Allah the Father? Um, let's stay at the point that uh, a Muslim is a person that submits his will to the will of God, and that's exactly what Jesus did. So, that, well, that's, so again, that's, that's, why, um, that's why Chris Claus was asking the question, if, you know, these prophets of Baal, they submitted themselves to Baal, and then that's the one God that they submit to and they worship. Are they Muslim? And you would say no, because that's not the true God. That's a false God, a false idea of God. That's not the true God, the God of Abraham, right? Who has specific qualities and specific characteristics that define him. So if uh, when we're looking at Jesus, right, we're proving that Jesus is a Muslim. What you're doing is, is that you're proving that Jesus submitted and worshiped and taught about the same God that you as a Muslim, you believe and you submit to, right? So the one true God, or Jesus, you know, as you said, Jesus submitted to the Father. Is the one true God the Father? Yes, that's in my opinion, in my belief, my brother, uh, mm -hmm. I believe the Father uh, that Jesus is talking about is my Allah. It's the same, the one and the same. Gotcha. So when Jesus says Elohim, in mm. my belief, he's saying he's talking about my God. And when Jesus worships mm. that God, uh, and he's telling me how to worship that God by telling us our Father, that mm. means everyone's Father. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, yeah, uh, no problem. For me, for me it's, it's the same God. So when Jesus okay. is submitting, submitting to that God, he's mm. submitting, in my opinion, to the Father. To, to like uh, you say, uh, Father in Arabic that would be up, but mm. Allah has a different word. It's, it's, he says Rabb. And it Lord. Basically, yeah, it basically means the same. So, well, no, um, no, Lord, Lord and Father are two different meanings. You can be someone's Lord, but not their Father. You, um, you can be a Father and a Lord to the person, but Lord is not necessarily a Father. So we're talking about the ultimate Lord. It, it's always God. The yeah, the ultimate Lord. Lord obviously, yes, yes. The ultimate Lord is definitely God. Um, but, but now is is when you say that the the ultimate Lord is is God. Would you say that the ultimate father is God as well? Of course. He's the so, father of every atom. Of course. So would you, so is there somewhere in the Quran that says that Allah is the father? So um, 
uh, uh, I think I, I, I don't have the knowledge, bro. Because it's, okay. uh, I, I, it's not uh, for me to say something that I don't know the exact knowledge of. Okay. So, That's all right. But, but what I do know is that, uh, so not to confuse us, uh, we've mm. got another word, and it's, it's another word is rub. Meaning, right. uh, like, uh, it's in the same trend of uh, ab. It's, an, it's not. Ab and, and rub are two different things, right? One is Lord, one is Father. So it def the Quran definitely calls Allah the Lord, it definitely calls him Lord, Master, and things of this nature, but it does not call him Father. It doesn't identify him as the Father. And the Quran says, actually, that in chapter 19, verse 93, that none can come to him in heaven or on earth except as a slave, a servant. So you can't even come to him metaphorically, according to the Quran, as a as a son or daughter. You can't you can't address him as father. You can only address him as master and lord. You know. So that, that because uh, because yeah. I, don't, I don't believe that God has offspring. God doesn't doesn't like uh, reproduce. But uh, in in the spirit of uh, of the language, when mm. when we say father. We mean like the originator, uh, where we all come from, you know, the, mm. the cause, the okay. uncaused cause, as, as we Muslims like to say. Yeah. So, so you, you mentioned the verse um, where Jesus says the son can do nothing of himself, but he, uh, or doesn't follow his will, but he does what the father does or what, what the father commands him, right? And yes, so um, I want to I go to that context where he mentions that. It's John chapter 5. It's a beautiful it's a beautiful verse you mentioned. I love that verse. Um, and this is what it reads, okay? I'm going to read this to you because I think it's fair that we have to, and even when I'd like to do this with the Quran, I like to, I, I like to read a verse in the context that is being talked about, right? The, the verses before and the verses after to see what it's being said, right? That, that's a fair yeah. approach, right? Yeah. Okay. So here's the verse. It's John chapter 5, verse 19. And Jesus Drop says... Put me on the big screen. Oh, yeah, sure. Whoops. All right. So it says this. It says, So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of his own accord, but only what he sees the father doing for whatever the father does that the son does likewise for the father loves the son and shows him all that he himself is doing and greater works than these will he show him so that you may marvel for as the father raises the dead and gives them life so also the son gives life to whom he wills for the father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the son, that all may honor the son just as they honor the father. Whoever does not honor the son does not honor the father who sent him. So do you believe, thanks Chris, do you believe that this is, that this type of teaching lines up with Islamic teaching that Jesus is the son of the father who does whatever the father does, can do whatever the father can do, um, gives life to whomever he chooses, and is the one who judges. The father doesn't judge, but it's the son who judges. Do you, is that in line with uh, Islam? It's a, it's a great question, my brother. No, that's not in line with Islam. Hmm. So this is, what, this is what's important about this when it comes to this conversation, my, my friend, is that um, and this is what I learned in this conversation. Like this is what, like when I have this title, I've I've seen this happen where um, Muslims they uh, they know some verses in the Bible, right? They know some verses in the Bible where Jesus clearly submits himself to the Father, right? And he's a servant, right? He's sent by him. He's a servant. He humbles himself before him and things of this nature. And they'll they'll pluck out a verse that says that, but ignore the verse that came prior or even after or even like the rest of that phrase because notice how when we read the part that where it says the son can do nothing of himself there's yeah. another part to that like that sentence isn't done but what he sees the father doing 
So whatever God does, Jesus says, I do. Can you, you know? look that? Can you look up that same verse again? But like in, uh, I use the Bible Hub. So uh, in the Bible Hub, you get uh, multiple readers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the same verse. I got you. I got you. Let's go to Bible Hub, John chapter five, verse nineteen. And I like the old English of the King James version. You like King James? Like okay, okay. Yeah, you you, old, you old, like that old English for real? I love it, man. Man, I love it. It's po it's poetic. I'll give it that. But goodness. Yeah, it, it's that because the Quran is poetic as well. The Quran it's it's mm. like a poem. It's like yeah. uh, it challenge it challenges like the, the old poets of Arabia. You know what I'm mm. saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, so I, that's why I like the old English. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay. I think the old English uses the word will as well. Yep. <clears throat> so, um, you did you did you want to just see uh, 19 or did you want to see all of it? Just or just the verse 19. I, I won't bother you with it. I'll go look it up myself. Uh, okay. My own time. I won't bother you. With all right, all right, no worries. So logic, uh, mostly like uh, when you say we pick and choose, it's like uh, when when we read the Bible, we we understand that. Uh, that um, Jesus is a prophet, so we cling on to that, and like we ignore like the other verses that say otherwise, or that right. you would you would uh, bring up that that would say otherwise. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm learning, man. We are all learning, bro. Yeah, that's true. I, I man, I would honestly, um, I would encourage you because you seem like you you seem genuine, man, and you seem pretty cool too. Like I don't know what's going on today. We're pretty, getting some pretty cool Muslims up on the stage. I would encourage you, bro, and, and whenever you have time, go through the Gospel of John. You know, I'm not saying that you have to believe in it or anything like that, but just for learning purposes and just it's 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 a really interesting book on the view of Jesus. And just read that and and see what you think. I would I would really be interested to see what what you get out of it, what you get out of it and what you uh, John, think. That's about Jesus. I'll, hmm? I'll, I'll read through it. Bro. I'll read through it. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, he has it. So, uh, which one you want me to go to first? We're gonna the the oh, first. We're gonna scroll down. We're gonna scroll all of them. So this is NIV. Okay. Um, Jesus gave him the answer. Verily, truly, I tell you, the son can do nothing by himself. He can only do what he sees the father doing, because whatever the father does, the son also does. All right, let's go down to let's go to King James because he likes the King James. All right, there it is. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the father do for for what things for what for whatsoever he doeth. These also doeth the son likewise. And so you're also going to get just different little English variations yeah, of this, but it's all the same. You see, yeah. I love the languages, though. Yeah, well, man, I, you see how I sh kind of struggled to get that out when I read the key, James. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, when you learn something, when you've got to do something, it's good to struggle for it. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right, man. You're absolutely right. So, so listen, so in, in going to these, to these verses, right, if, and if we're going to be honest, if we're going to be honest and, you know, just take the verses in their context, we see, we see what Jesus taught, being the son of God who judges who gives life to whoever he wants and who can do whatever the father does. He never works alone, never does anything separate from the father, but always works with the father in everything that they do. And we see that that's not an Islamic teaching, right? That doesn't go in Islam with Islam. That's like, that would actually like be shirk, right? That would be association according to Islam. So according to the Bible, if we're reading the Bible, we read this, we can, we can. It's a very interesting passage, bro. This yeah. is a very interesting passage, man. Oh, it... you, man. It, it gets it gets crazier. Matter of fact, hold on, man. It actually gets even more crazy. So notice how, notice how Jesus says, um, he said in verse twenty one, he says, "For as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whom He wills." All right? So he's saying he could do the same thing God does, and then he says, "Pause it, bro. Pause it. Yeah. Pause it. One, one second. Like, uh, um, what did that verse say? Please read it. Again. Yeah, I will read it again. For as the Father raises the dead." and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whom He wills. So where did I get this verse from that it says, uh, Jesus gives uh, life to the dead by the permission mm. of the Father? 
Like, it, 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 I read it somewhere, but, but I can't tell you exactly where it was. It um, says with the permission of the Father. Uh, yeah, no, there's not a verse that says that specifically, but... Uh, Can you share I mean, my screen, brother? Yeah. Yeah, there's no verse that says that he raises the dead. A little bit further right? down. And it says here, For as the Father has life in himself, so he has also granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do, mar do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out and those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of evil. Uh, so Jesus is basically saying here as well that that hour is coming that they will hear his voice and then he will judge them, right? right. So, so we were, and I'm going to keep this up, I'm going to keep this your screen up. So if we were to, we're looking at Jesus' words, um, uh, Kume, I hope I'm saying that right. We're looking at Jesus' words. Let me ask you this. From an Islamic perspective, who is the one who judges at the hour and who will raise the dead on the day of judgment? Who is that? Yeah, only the Father, bro. Right, only God. And so if Jesus is saying that I'm the one who will judge on the day of judgment, and it's my voice who who will raise the dead and I'm the one who will send them to heaven for eternal life or send them to hell, then who is Jesus claiming to be? Yeah, then he's, he's claiming to be the big daddy on the, in this verse, bro. But, <laughs> but, yeah, I gotta be honest, man. I gotta be honest, man. Bro, like, this is really blowing my mind, man, because I've, yeah. I've, I've never read this anywhere, man. Right, right. It, it says, what did it say? Like uh, he he's the the ultimate judge. Yes. So he says that the father has given him judgment, right? So the father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the son. So the son is going to be the one judging, right? And he says that at this hour, at the hour, at the hour. This, um, this is the hour. This is the hour that Jesus says, like only the father has has knowledge. And, and it's it's and it says yeah. here. And he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the son of man. So it's saying that Jesus, he's the one doing all of this. And then it says, do not marvel at this. For an hour is coming when, when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out and those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. So Kumi, when you stand before the judge, who's that judge in the Islamic worldview? The father, bro. Also in the Jewish worldview, it's always the father. It's always God, God Almighty. God Almighty. So it's always yeah, God Almighty, of course, right? Nothing, nothing, nothing or nobody with him. God Almighty. Right. Singular. So, so this shows that Jesus is claiming to be God Almighty along with the Father. So well, what passage is this? This is very interesting. Yeah, bro. this is this is John chapter five, bro. This is the same verse. This is the same chapter, bro. Every Muslim quotes this. Every you know you you ever hear Muslims always quote John five thirty where he says I'm about to I'm about to show you where you are about to quote. Yeah. Where it says John, I can do of uh, I can do nothing of my of my own as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is judged, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of him who sent me. So that's where Muslims would believe that Jesus submitted his will, and that's yeah, where that's they would, would try believe. to prove he's a Muslim. Yeah, that's what I would believe too. But like, uh, isn't in the, like, guys, isn't this like a, a paradox? Like, it's in, not. In, in, the, in, in the front, it says like he's the ultimate judge. Oh, he's, it's gone. Keep like, it up, Chris. Keep it up. It says like it's he's the ultimate judge, and then uh, when you scroll down, it says like I of myself can do nothing. So like, do you understand? So he, he even says that. Remember, he says that even in the beginning. Remember, we read verse nineteen. He already said that he doesn't do anything by himself. He says, "Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does." The son does the same thing, right? So this is showing you, it's, it's not talking about his inability to do something. Like, he's, like he doesn't have the power, he's not able. 
It's he's saying that he doesn't work alone. He never does anything without the father and the father doesn't do anything without the son. They are always working together in everything they do. So that's what Jesus is talking about. You know, so he just told us that he's all powerful because he just said that whatever the father can do, I can do. The son can do it the same exact way. So he says that he's all powerful because the father's all powerful. But he says that he does nothing of himself. He doesn't do anything by himself and neither does the father. The father does nothing by himself. He says the father shows the son all things that he does. So everything the father does, the son is involved. Everything the son does, the father is involved. They are and this perfect. is always this this is always, always like from his birth to to to, to his everything death. everything everything Man, uh, it's like it's like a broke. We're talking we're talking about God, man. We're talking about God. It's it's his his nature and his and his uh, majesty is so far beyond anything that we can ever imagine. I'm That's sorry, something I agree with, Muslims on. I'm sorry. Oh, you got a call? I have to drop off. Like, I'm very sorry. My, my, my voice no, it's is okay. And I'm getting a call. It's okay. Uh, drop, follow me so we could talk. Oh, yeah. Oh, he had to go. Oh, he got out quick. But, yeah. That was fun. God bless that Muslim brother <laughs> if he's watching still, if he still can hear us. I hope that you come back and we can continue the conversation, man. I don't think that he received a phone call that he needed to leave the app for i think that uh, something hit him a little hard at that point oh my god logic